This is an RTV6 update working for you. I'm Lauren Casey and these are your latest headlines from the RTV6 newsroom. Home improvement stores like Menards or Lowe's have been busy with people purchasing new patio furniture, mulch, even a grill. Now a new service here in Indianapolis can deliver those large products right to your door so you can stay at home. It's called Freight. The senior sales manager for the company describes it as similar to Uber Eats, but instead of bringing you food, they're bringing you large items that you can buy at the store that can't necessarily fit in your car. You just need to buy the item and then select that you're picking it up at the store. Right now they have more than 80 vehicles working around the Indianapolis area. Well, Kroger says it'll spend $130 million to say thank you to its employees for working during the pandemic. The one-time payment is for both full-time and part-time employees. As part of the thank you pay, full-time employees will receive an extra $400, while part-time associates will get $200. Up in Fishers, Top Golf has reopened. The venue releasing this video message from the CEO, Dolph Burley. It outlines the new safety measures, including social distancing guidelines. Employees will wear masks at all times and gloves while handling food and drinks. They'll also undergo daily health screenings. For visitors, each golf bay will be disinfected after each group and dividers have been installed between bays. Time now for a check of our Monday forecast. Todd Klassen is standing by. Hey, Todd. And Lauren, we're going to be dealing with unsettled weather here not only today, but the first couple days of this week as rain chances will remain in uh, the forecast. They're at moderate risk today, uh, up to a high chance tomorrow, and then just some spotty showers on Wednesday and Thursday. So the heaviest of the rainfall for today at least will wrap up here pretty quickly throughout the morning hours, but throughout the afternoon we'll still deal with some scattered showers and a few peaks of sunshine. The problem is once some sunshine develops, that'll help to trigger some some development of these showers across the area. But again, a lot of dry hours this afternoon to get out and about. Tomorrow is more of a wet day for us. You notice some heavier rain coming in during the morning hours on the eastern side of the state. That's where flash flood watches are posted. The good news is as we progress towards the end of the week, we see more in the way of sunshine. And with that sunshine, warmer temperatures. And by the weekend, which is a holiday weekend, hard to believe it's Memorial Day weekend, Lauren, high temperatures will be up in the 80s. All right, Todd, thanks so much. For more stories and weather you need to know, you can download the RTV6 mobile app. Thanks for joining us.